what's going on listeners and this is your boy brother leon i'm coming to you with another episode of the brother leon show i want you guys to be blessed and right now where i'm at it's raining but i want you to know that even in the midst of the storm even in the midst of the rain god is still in control god is still on the throne so i don't want you to worry i don't want you to fret because God has given us his word and he has given us the blessing and the benefit. So today we're still coming out of our series 91 Psalms for 91 days. I gave you a message yesterday about deliverance for the deliverer. And so I included that in the series, but I need to get back to the scripture. So we're going to go to Psalms 31. We're going to talk about being a doer of the word today. So I'm going to come out at James and I want you guys to know that this message, it's not going to be a, a long message because I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced that you guys know that you need to do the word of God in order to have success. Seriously, I'm quite sure that I'm quite sure that you know about Joshua, that this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. I'm quite sure that you get that. I'm quite sure that you get the fact that he said that you will make your way prosperous and you will have great success. I'm quite sure that you get it. So we're just going to do a recap because I know you guys need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt in order to be successful, in order to flow with the wisdom of God, you got to be a doer of the word of God. In order for your life to change, in order for your mind to be renewed, to be transformed, you can't have transformation without God's words. He created the world through words. God said, light be and light was, and God saw what he said. So I want you guys to know, man, that God is faithful, that God will deliver to you his words, his words. So if he's given us his word, we have his promises and all the promises of God are yes and amen. So let's go. Let's go into the scripture. James chapter one, as I pull it up on the Bible app, we are going to be coming out of James chapter one, verse 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For beholdeth he himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. So I want you guys to know is that if you're going to look at the word, if you're going to read the Bible, if you're going to confess the word, if it's going to be a part of your daily meditation, allow that daily meditation in the word of God to begin to transform you. Because the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind. How is your mind renewed? Your mind is renewed by taking the words of scripture and believing the words of scripture by doing those things that correspond with your faith in action. Because I'm going to tell you, man, faith requires corresponding action. And so if you're going to change today, you got to realize that you need that word and you got to work it every day. You got to work your faith every day. You have to have a faith project every day. You have to pray every day. I love MC's Hammer song. We got to pray just to make it today. I love that song. Seriously, because it's so true. 
And you got to meditate. You got to meditate upon that word. And some of you think, man, that you can do it without doing the word of God because you feel like that you're so spiritual and you have that much inspiration. But I'm going to tell you, man, the wisdom of God is greater because there is a wisdom out here that calls itself spiritual, that calls itself having the power of God, but denies the source, the truth. It has a form of godliness, but it denies everything about the Bible and everything about Christ. Because the Bible says it in the last days. In the last days that we will have those who have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. And they deny the power thereof when they contradict scripture. They deny the power thereof when they don't walk in the love of Christ. They contradict scripture when they take and mix Bible and Christianity with any type of ism that they want. Whether it be classism, whether it be nationalism, whether it be racism. But I'm going to tell you right now, that is not the true spirit of Christ. And that is not the true spirit of the word because the word of God says love. That we shall love one another. That we shall love our brethren. Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples indeed when you have love towards another. So I want you guys to be aware today that God has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. But I'm going to tell you this. You can't have a life in God without the word of God. That's like you trying to have a life without blood. Because the word of God is our blood. It is our life. It is the source of what we live from. And one thing I want you to know is this. Is that all things are held together by the word of God. So let's go over to Psalms chapter chapter 31. And as I pull it up on my Bible app, man, this Bible app is so good. I love it. I'm serious, but I ain't going to lie. I probably do need to get me an actual Bible so you guys can hear me going through the pages. So we're going to go down to the last verse of Psalms 31. And I'm going to come at verse 23. Oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentiful rewardeth the proud doer. So, man, God is going to reward you for doing the word. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. So when you have hope in the Lord and hope in his word, his word is going to come through for you. And that's the God knows truth. And I want you guys to know that God's word is living. It is quick. It's powerful like a two-edged sword, piercing, dividing the soul and the spirit and the joint and the marrow. And is a discerner of the intents of the thoughts and the hearts of man. And I'm just paraphrasing. So you got to know, man, that that word is alive. Not only are you looking into it, it is looking into you. So begin to quote that word. Begin to embrace the word. Allow your angels to go in and just resonate those scriptures. Begin to say it out of your mouth. Because the Bible says that the communication, I'm coming out of Philemon. Let the communication of thy faith become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. So begin to quote the word of God and every good thing that is in the word of God concerning you. Quote the word about healing. Quote the word about prosperity. Quote the word about your family. Quote the word about your career and ministry. Quote the word. Because Jesus overcame the devil in the wilderness by it is written. And I'm going to give you one last scripture and I'm done. Revelations. Coming out of Revelation and you know this. And they overcame him. Revelations 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they love not their own lives unto the death. So I want you guys to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. That God's word is true. And that you can overcome by his word and by his blood. 
And I'm going to tell you, man, when you take and you rely upon the word of God, God's words become an anchor unto you. And I want you guys to know, man, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that God's word is true. The Bible says, let God's words be true and every man found to be a liar. So you can't sit up here and tell me that that scripture doesn't mean what it says. That scripture gives you an excuse to not do the word of God or to obey the laws of the land. Because you're going to have people tell you and give their commentary on everything. It don't mean that. (laughs) How do you know? Especially if the word says that the scripture are there for our learning. Seriously. Some people, man, I, I, I just shake my hand sometimes. And these have been a God. But listener, you can't afford to be without the word of God. Know what the Bible says for yourself. My pastor, Pastor George E. Hilton, used to say, get into the word until the word gets in you. And I want to leave you with that. Get into the word until the word gets in you. And I want to tell you, have faith, but don't be stupid because deception is rising up. People are going out here prematurely. People are relaxing themselves and taking off their masks and gathering in gatherings because I get it. The seasons have changed. But I like what one pastor said in Chicago. We going to open up church when they open up their houses. When, when the White House is, is having open visits by pedestrians. When the governor's mansion starts having public open visits, then we will open the churches. But until that day comes, when they do it, we'll do it. But if they don't do it, we ain't going to do it. I love that. Because now it gives you an aspect of why you need to use Virtual reality services and online services or even parking lot services if you want to go that route. Now, granted, the parking lot services are a little little expensive to my taste, I would say, because you got to drive. You most likely going to end up keeping your car on so you can have the air in there. But, you know, it's your car. But when you're in the safety of your home, you got all the comforts of home right there. All you need is an Internet, Wi-Fi and a computer screen or monitor, whatever you choose. But I want you guys to have faith. Don't be stupid. Watch out for the deceptions and read your Bibles. So you guys be blessed. And I thank you for today. Peace.